welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a day in the life of a 1950s housewife. It is something that I aspire to be but I know that also back in that day that there was a lot of oppression for women so if we could just have the best of both worlds, the more modern take on how women play a role in society with the 1950s housewife version, that would be wonderful. I thought it would be a cute video to do and I'm dressed 1950s style and I even have a little hair piece which is really hard to figure out how to put on so hopefully it is good for the video and I'm going to be folding my husband's clothes while I talk to you all to start this video off with because in the day of life of a 1950s housewife there is a lot of chores to do. I'm going to start this video off by first doing the laundry because that is what I usually do. It saves me a lot of time because I can wait for the laundry to get done while I'm doing other tasks and be doing things like cleaning my bedroom, cleaning my kitchen while the laundry is getting done. And yes, I am wearing mop slippers which I like to do when I'm doing housework because while I'm sweeping and mopping I don't want to retract dirt. My husband and I started becoming allergic to the fabric softener so instead of using a regular fabric softener now I just use white distilled vinegar in the softener dispenser on my washing machine. I think that the hardest part about being a housewife in the 1950s is having your makeup and your hair done at all times during the day and during the evening for your husband when he got home. What do you all think? I am okay with doing housework all day, but it is hard for me to keep myself looking perfect and doing the housework at the same time. <laughs> Now I'm doing the dishes by hand. I always like to rinse my sink out before I start. And I don't have a sink stopper so I'm just using paper towels and stuffing them in there to keep the sink from draining because that is all I have. And in the 1950s routine is a must. There was a tour list for every day, every week. The 
reason that I do what I do on my channel is because I want my house to be a happy place for me and my husband both. We both grew up really poor and we never had like a stable home. And now that I finally do, I am so thrilled and I just obsess over making my house as nice as possible for both of us. Just a little backstory, I have grown up in a trailer from the day I was born until two years ago. I have been from trailer to trailer to trailer. Also in the 1950s, it was common for the wife to iron the husband's clothes and honestly, I don't even own an iron to even demonstrate that on my channel, but that was something that they did and I don't think that it's a common place anymore and I'm sure there are people that still iron, especially if they're in corporate jobs or something like that, but we don't have that issue so I just don't own an iron. The wife would always make lunch for their husband before they were off to work and send them off to work with a kiss and hug goodbye. And so I'm making my husband's lunch today, which this is actually something that I do every day he goes to work anyway. So this is no different than what I'm demonstrating here. And my husband only likes turkey sandwiches and every day, every single day, my cat comes to the counter and begs me for a piece of turkey. A lot of the times food was made from scratch but they did have restaurants back in the 1950s but they were just getting started so when you thought about eating out it was for special occasions most of the time. So a housewife was expected to make a lot of things from scratch. Just doing a little more cleaning before it is time for my husband to go to work. the 1950s. Oh, no, just a weird time, I guess. I want to know what your guys' opinion is on what a woman's role was in the 1950s as a housewife. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I do do cleaning videos and I do organization videos 
and I also do videos with tips for how to clean your house in an easier way because it's hard enough for us to clean as it is so any tips you can get and any tips I can give you is great and if you all have tips make sure to leave them in the comments for other people I read them they read them and we just have this great community here and I really appreciate everybody's input all right, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.